Finally tonight, an honour for a woman who fought fascism. Noor Inayat Khan was a British spy during World War II and was sent to work in France in 1943. But she was captured and killed by the Germans. She was just 30 years old. Today, she became the first Muslim woman in Britain to have a statue of her unveiled. Paul Brand has an extraordinary story. The French didn't resist quietly. Street battles raged against Nazi occupation. And amid them, one woman slipped by silently. So quiet, history almost drowned out Noor Inayat Khan, her story virtually forgotten until today. With the pull of a cloth, this afternoon one princess paid tribute to another. A statue unveiled for the spy who descended from Indian royalty. A daughter of sultans, Noor was born for great things. She was really a beautiful girl, very delicate, very dainty, very kind of uh, enormously gifted. You know, she had that enormous charisma of a uh, really very charismatic person. You meet her, you see here is somebody who really radiates something. Perfect qualities for a spy with a history of resistance. Her ancestors fought the British, but nor would fight with them, driven by a hatred of fascism. Fluent in French, she was trained to use a wireless under the name of Nora Baker before being dropped into Paris by her wing commander. We were doing a job and uh, every time that we flew off uh, across into the continent, German-occupied territory, we all took the risk that uh, we were doing. We were flying an aeroplane and if we came back, well, we, we did it again the next day. And uh, she uh, was remarkable in, in being a radio operator. And uh, unfortunately, she was betrayed. And that's a terrible thing. She was betrayed by a colleague, and nothing worse. By the time she was arrested, Noor had sent months of messages back to Britain. She escaped prison, but was recaptured and taken to a concentration camp. She was tortured, she was beaten, she was kicked brutally. We have this from the other prisoners and eyewitness reports. And finally, she was, when she was a bloody mess on the floor, she was shot through the head uh, by an SS officer. And she went down defiant till the end. She went down screaming, Liberté, and uh, that's Noor. Noor told her captors nothing, never even revealing her name. Now, along with her George Cross, she finally has a place in history. Paul Brand, London Tonight.